Hey guys, we're going to take a look at the scientific calculator and notation, and this is weird. You need to get your calculator out. Every calculator is so different that your buttons might be different than the ones you see possibly on another calculator or whatever, but most of your most uh, uh, smartphones have a calculator that will do well, a scientific version. You just need to turn it on the side so it actually comes up and it is a scientific calculator, and you'll see what I mean. But let's do something kind of look, this look pretty complicated here, but it's a good idea to estimate your answer first when you do this. Um, so you can do something like this. You can go, uh, we'll just go over here. and go, This is huge looking numbers here. But let's go over four times. We're going to go, that'll be negative four times 10 to the negative fourth power, because we're going over that many times. And then we'll also have one, two, three, four. That's going to be four there. It'll be three point, we'll just call it 3.2 or 3-ish, whatever, times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4. That'll be 10 to the 11th power. So um, we're multiplying negative 4 times 3-ish. We'll just call it like, I don't know, 13 or so, somewhere around 13. And this will be times 10 to the negative 4 plus 11 is 7. And then that'll be, of course, 1.3 times 10 to the 8th power. That's our guess. Okay, somewhere around there. All right, so 1.3 times 10 to the 8th power. All right, so let's do this in an actual way where we use the calculator. Okay, so here's how we do it. Watch this carefully. Every, every one's different, but we're going to go negative 40. I need to look down in a second here, but negative 40,652. And this is the button you want to push to make that into a negative. Bam. Okay, so that is times 10 to the negative 8th power. You're going to go exponent. That's the button you want next. Exponent. And you're going to go 8, but we don't want to the 8th power. We want to the negative 8, so we're going to push the negative there. Okay? Sit, and it'll, it'll show you. That's to the, eight, to the negative 8th power. Okay? We're multiplying, so go ahead and hit multiply. And if you want, if you, if you have a keyboard, you can hit the shift button and look at the number 8, and there's a, like an asterisk. That's the same thing as multiplying. Okay? We're going to multiply by 0 0.000324. So 0 0.000324. All right? That exponent is 10 to the 15th. So we go exponent and then 15. Okay? Then we go equals, boom, there it is. Okay? Now, if we 131, let's say 132 million is what we said it was. Okay, 130, negative, of course, 132 million. Okay. We said our answer was negative 1.3 times 10 to the, like negative 8, I believe. That's what it was. Or negative 8. Or just 8. Or 7th or something like that. <laughs> Sorry, anyway. Okay, so here we go. We have three, four, and there's a two, two of those. So we have eight. So that's negative 1.3 times 10 to the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Boom, there it is. Okay, so that's an approximate answer. And there you go. Okay, let's try another one. The main thing on this is just getting the buttons down. So let's do another one. And this time we're going to divide those same two numbers. So Oh, this will be fun. Good gravy. Okay, so let's look at it again. 40,652. So it's a negative. So we're going to change the sign of that. You're not going to put, you're not going to go minus because if you do that, it'll, it'll, it'll think, oh, it's 40,652 minus something. You don't want that. You want to just change the sign. There it is down there. Okay, the power that it's to is to the negative 8. So you push exponent 8, and then you're going to do the opposite of that. So it's negative 8. Okay, this time you're going to divide by 0 0.000324 times 10 to the 15th. So the divide button is here, or you can actually use um, underneath the question mark on the, uh, on the bottom right of your keyboard, you can also use that. But divide, okay, that, also, that turns it into a, a number, uh, a decimal number right there. We're dividing by 0 0.000324, okay, times 10 to the 15th. So point zero 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 three two four, and then here's your exponent, exponent times 10 to the 15th power and boom and there we go so this is going to be to the negative 15th power so our answer is negative 1.2 let's just call it negative you know 1.25 whatever times 10 to the negative 15th power and there we go okay all right okay uh, let's look at uh, powers and roots in fun and the focus is on the in fun because these are fun Pushing buttons on calculators is fun. Okay. And by the way, 
you need to make sure you know what a rational number is. It's important. A rational number is a number that you can express as a fraction. And we know the two main types of irrational numbers are ones, well, that's the most famous one right there. The second one is this type, like the square root of, you know, I don't know, 11. The answer to that is not an integer. And for some reason, when you do square roots, the, you know, the, like a regular fraction, like decimal either repeats or terminates. These don't for whatever reason. And that's an irrational number. You can't express it as a fraction. So those are two types, all right? And, and that's when you have a rational number, it's either like you can have something like, you know, I don't know, here's a rational number, one fourth, okay? Well, the decimal is 0.25, that's it, it stops. The other choice is something like, um, I don't know, one third, okay? Well, this is 0.3333333, it just keeps on going. It either repeats or it terminates. That's the only two choices you have for irrational numbers, all right? If you have something like this, um, the well, look at A, that terminates. That's 43 hundredths. This is three and 43 hundredths. This is the example of the one where that's one third, okay? This would be four and two thirds. But, but again, you could write four and two thirds as a fraction. If you did it as an improper fraction, you would just have 14 thirds, but you can't write it as a fraction, okay? Irrational numbers, can't do it, okay? Um, and that's the definition of an irrational number. Imaginary numbers, remember those? Okay, it's like, uh, you know, the square root of negative nine, which we would break down into the square root of nine times the square root of negative one, right? Okay, we know this is three. We call this by definition i, so we would call this the answer to the square root of, oops, not that, the square root of negative nine. Okay, all right, let's go on. This is kind of weird, all right? And let's look uh, at this for one second. All right, let's take a look. Um, one helpful thing to do on these types is to estimate, okay? Now, let's say, for example, somebody asks you, um, oops, the cube root of 27. Well, you know you know the answer to that. What times itself, three times gives you 20, it equals 27, the answer is three, right? And if somebody said to you, oh, you know, what's the cube root of 125? you would recognize, oh wait, five times five times five, the answer is five, boom. If somebody asked you, I don't know, the cube root of 70 or something like that, you'd have to go, you know, ugh. Okay, two times two times two, well that's eight, no, that's not it. Two times, no, three times three times three is 27, that's not it. Four times four times four, well that's 64, that's pretty close. So you would say something like the answer to this would be a little more than four, just a little, just a little bit more than four. Okay, that's an estimate. All right. Same thing here. You would. This is not exactly the cube root of you know 50.42. It's the root that's you know a, multi, a number to the 3.28 power, which is a little more than being cubed. So you would have to go well three times three times three ish is 27. So the answer to that would be three. And four times four times four is 64. So you go, well, the answer to this, around three, you know, the, the third power to 50, 50 uh, about 50, uh, the cube root of 50 would be somewhere between, you know, three times three times three is 27. Four times four times four is 64. So it's somewhere between three and four, okay? And again, the trick on getting this, which you've never in a million years get this without a calculator, but this is the key uh, on how to get this going, all right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna type in the number 50.42, and you will see, um, you know, that x to the y power. And, uh, your, and your calculator might be different. You might have the, 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 the word, or at least the abbreviation, INV for inverse. This is the button on the uh, Microsoft, you know, computer calculator, all right? This is what you're looking for right here. You're going to find the y root of x. You'll click that, then you'll put in 3.28, and that's the root of 50.42 you're looking for. All right, hit the equal sign, boom, there it is. So we guessed it was between 3 and 4, and the actual number is 3.304 or whatever. You can just put 3.3 or whatever. It's good enough. Okay, all right, let's try another one. A couple more. We're going to do the opposite now. All right, now we're not finding roots, we're going to actually take 9.26 to the 
fourth, fourth point, four point five eight roof. Now, again, you could, you know, these are kind of high to estimate, but you could go, you know, nine to the fourth power. Good grief, that'd be a giant number. Nine times nine is eighty one. Eighty one times nine is seven twenty nine. Seven twenty nine times nine is six thousand five hundred and sixty one. Okay, so that would be nine to the fourth power. So you're looking at a number that's more than six thousand somewhere around there, okay? The way to do that in your calculator is to go back. Okay, so again, we're doing 9.626, not to the fourth power, but to the 4.858 power. So we'll go 9.26, and we're back in this again. We're not in, we're not in the second function where it's that, we're here, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, okay, we're gonna, since we have 9.26 in there, we're gonna hit that button, now we're going to type in to what power, and we have 4.58. That's our power. Boop, there we go. 26,734 and close. Okay, that's the answer to that. All right, let's try the same thing to the negative uh, 4.58, which means if you remember your algebra, you know, that's going to be 1 over that. Remember how, like, if you have, you know, x to the you know, second power, that's the same thing as going like that and putting x down here, but putting it to the negative two power and a one up here. So we could actually just take this number one and divide it by 26,000 and see what we got. But let's just do it the calculator way. So we do exactly the same thing. We just need to change one thing, which is we do 9.26 uh, brought to the 4.58 power. Oops, 4.58 power. Don't forget your button down here. This changes that back. So there we go. Okay, hit the equal sign. 3.74 times 10 to the negative fifth is your answer. Don't forget this part at the very end. Okay, all right. Kind of funky, those calculators, but anyway, interesting. Okay, try A, pause it, and uh, see what you get here. Okay, let's go ahead and do A, point zero 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 four two times 10 to the negative 17. So point. 0, 0, 0, 4, 2, times 10 to the negative 17. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go doop, times, oh no, excuse me, we're not going to do that at all. We're going to go exponent, exponent, times 10 to the negative 17, and I'm going to add my little right there, okay? Now I'm going to divide, and I hit the division button, doink, okay? I think I might have moved that one up. Let me try that one more time. <laughs> okay, so I got 0 0.00442 times 10 to the point zero 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 four two, and that's times 10 to the 17th. So I got my exponent and 17, and then the opposite of that. Okay, all right, and then I'm going to divide. Divided by, there we go, 5, 6, 8, 4, 2, 5, 5, 6, 8, 4, 2, 5, and then my exponent is 10 to the fifth. So my exponent is a five. So I'm dividing, bam, and there we go. So I have seven point, call it 7.3 times 10 to the negative 32. You see that negative 32, okay? All right, so that's A. Okay, pause it and try B. Okay, B is like the fourth root of 156. Now you might wanna go, okay, I'm gonna estimate, okay? Well, I know 3 to the 4th power, that's 9 times 9, that's 81. How about 4 to the 4th power? You could go, well, that's the same thing as 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. That'll be, you know, 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 16 is 256. So my answer is, you know, 156 to the 4th root, somewhere between there. So somewhere between 3 and 4, okay? So let's go ahead and hit it. We got 156, and we're going to go uh, the inverse and go this one and that'll be what 4.2 4.2 and equals 3.32 so your answer is 3. Point, let's call them 3.33 if you want to all right okay all right last two let's go ahead and try c go ahead and pause it and it looks like i forgot to make that into a um uh, a uh an exponent. So let's try it again. 0, 0, 0, 4, 2, and times 10 to the negative 17. So let's try all, start all over again. 
it's helpful to go through these buttons a lot. So 0 0.00042 times 10 to the negative 17. So my exponent and my 17 and my uh, opposite there. Okay, I'm going to multiply now. So I hit the multiply button, boom. And I'm going to go 568425. 568, oop. 568425 times 10 to the 5th power, and that's exponent to the 5th power. And there is my answer. Okay, so 0 0.00000000002. So that'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10. So that'd be like 2.4 times 10 to the negative 10. Okay, try D and uh, pause it. Okay, well, you can do a wild estimate here. This is not quite 2. So it's not quite 2, and it's not quite to the 5th power. But we know 2 to the 5th power is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 32. This is going to be too high of an answer. But probably 2 to the 4th power, which is 16, that might be a little too low of an answer. So I'm thinking somewhere between 16 and 32 somewhere. But it's not going to be this gigantic number, right? I mean, two, uh, less than 2 times less than the 5th power, it's got to be less than 32, right? Okay, so let's try it. 1.86 times 4.8, or to the uh, 4.86 power. So 1.86, and we're going to do to, that's the power we're going to do to 4.86, there we go, 20.4, which is clearly reasonable, right? It's less than 32, but it's a little more than 16, so all right, good enough. Okay, I think that should do it for this time, and uh, you guys take it easy. Have a great night.